what's up guys welcome to my channel if you are new yet my name is divine i'm a musical five minominak drummer and a keyboardist i have been for many many years i started making these videos as a space for music lovers like myself to check out our favorite artists and break down some of our findings that make them so so fantastic make sure you follow us on instagram at the perseverance reaction in order to recommend the favorite singers for us to react to What's up, YouTube? Hope you guys are feeling good. Today, guys, we're back here with a new video. I'm here with Ahmed Bah. My name is Devine, and he's my friend. Oh, yeah. <laughs> and he's a Muslim, so I asked him to come over so we check out some Islamic videos. Um, today, we're going to be reacting to why is the Quran a miracle? Mm. Hmm. And the first Seriously. one, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, I brought my Bible over, so. <clears throat> I brought the miracle one here. <laughs> yeah, man. So we're going to check this out, so guys. You know how it is. We're talking about right now. We are small. Let's get into it. In Islam, faith is not blind. It is based off knowledge and rationality. When Muslims are asked why they believe Islam is the truth, they respond by saying the Qur'an is the proof. But when they are asked to explain how, it can be difficult to give a satisfying answer because there is just so much that can be said. So, how is the Qur'an a miracle? Allah revealed a verse in the Qur'an affirming that he would protect his revelation from ever being corrupted 1400 years ago. If you think about it, this is a huge claim to make, yet we find the Qur'an remains completely unchanged after all these years. No matter where you are in the world, the Qur'an is one and no two Muslims disagree. In another verse, Allah says that he has made the Qur'an easy to learn and asks if there will be anyone that will learn it. Every single generation since the Qur'an was revealed has had memorizers, making it the only book to have passed down in human memory. Considering most Muslims That's don't impressive. understand the language, mm -hmm. the speed at which they can learn the Qur'an is almost unbelievable. To give you an idea, imagine memorizing a page of Chinese in a matter of half an hour. Today, there are more than 100 million memorizers of all its 600 pages, word for word, letter for letter. You might be asking, why is the Qur'an in Arabic if most Muslims aren't Arabs? Well, Allah tells us why in many verses. In one, he says to remove any crookedness or confusion, and in another, so that it may be perfectly clear. We now know that Arabic is one of the most eloquent languages that delivers incredible depth and precision with the least amount of words. In Arabic, one single word can translate into a full descriptive sentence. If the Qur'an was in English, it would have to be thousands of pages thicker, if not more, just to carry a close enough meaning. The effect that the Qur'an has on those who listen to it being recited can easily so, be seen. I'd like to ask you, mm -hmm. um, when you were a little kid, mm -hmm. growing up as a Muslim, yeah. Um, you were speaking English, right? Yeah. So, um, how was it for you to be um, learning Arabic, whereas um, the Arabic teaching whereas is... If it was difficult or something. No, for yeah. me, for me personally, like, I should say, like, I'm a fast learner, so it was like easy for me, and a lot of other people that I've seen. But you know, some people when they use that cane to like compel them by force, yeah. you get. Um, it's kind of like difficult because you have that fear in you. But like the person that taught me didn't teach me to like have that fear. If I make mistakes, he corrects me without even shouting. So he takes his time. And he sh the way he taught me was like, when you see the letters, you should identify it. Mm. And when you are able to identify it, you know how to pronounce it. So it was easy for me. He took his time to like teach me. So I was able to like, when before I even like, by the age of 13, like I'm done, like the Quran to like read it cover to cover, open it, read it, not like memorizing it. So I learned from like reading it perfectly. 
then memorizing it, I did it after, but like not to that level to like having the whole put hand in yeah, my head. I guess. So you see, that's how my teacher taught me. But like some other people were complaining like, oh, nah, they were not able to like read it because their teacher was flogging them. Rehash. Well, yeah, yeah, we are harsh. Some people are like that. But I get the point, we're all different. But you, when you come home, your parents will also teach you as well. So when I come home, they will help me out, teach me, and I read for myself. So when I go, it's easy for me to like, I will read ahead. Mm. So it was easy for me. But anything I, I think about, whatever you're learning, you just need to have that passion for it. So if you have passion for it, it will be easy. But for me, it would only look at the statistics. It's easy because you can't find a book that like 100 million people memorizing it. Like 600 pages, bro. Mm. More than 100 million people memorizing it. It's like, it's not easy. Just like you're learning another language, it takes another time, bro. Yeah, that, yeah. Is, that is the thing. Like, learning another language is not easy to. Yeah. So then, let alone saying you are memorizing 600 pages word for word. And the thing is that, the, the sweetest thing about it, if you make a mistake while you're praying, someone at the back will correct you. Ah. Uh... Yeah. Someone at the back. So, like, you have people that are learned, like, they know the thing. So, if. When God said, made that claim like he would guard up your hand, it's like a big statement here. Yeah? But you see, some people have tried to change the word and bring it up. When they start, they'll find out. Mm. When you start reading, they'll find out like they are defecting it. Wow. When you try to make changes to it, they'll find out, then they'll correct it. So, so that's that is, it. That is impressive. Yeah, bro. That is impressive. Let's keep watching. Um, See what more he has to offer. From the thousands of reaction videos on YouTube, it literally brings people to tears despite them not understanding the language. Yeah, check the thousands video. Guess what? Mm -hmm. Allah explicitly told us that people would react like this 1,400 years ago. In the fourth chapter, Allah presents an open challenge. He says, Do they not reflect upon the Quran? If it had been from anyone other than Allah, they would have found in it much error and contradiction. 14 centuries of critics have passed and not a single error or contradiction can be found despite great advancements in knowledge. Allah has placed many scientific subtleties in the Quran for us to reflect on. For example, the Big Bang that describes the creation of the universe starting from a single point or the expansion of the universe that was discovered in the last 50 years. To give you an idea of how much of a breakthrough this was, Stephen Hawking said that this was one of the great intellectual revolutions of the 20th century. This was explicitly mentioned in the Quran 14 centuries ago. More signs include every living thing being made of water, and mountains as pegs, standing firm and stabilizing the earth from shaking. Amazingly, Allah mentions two seas that meet but don't mix. One fresh and sweet, the other salty and bitter, and between them being a barrier. All of which science has confirmed. Allah states how the human is formed, which we have found is in the correct chronological order. Particularly, Allah describes the embryo in shockingly accurate detail. The famous Professor Keith Moore admitted this information could not have been known by man 1400 years ago. Of the historical signs in the Qur'an include the preservation of the Pharaoh of Egypt. Both the Bible and the Qur'an mention that he drowned after Moses, peace be upon him, parted the sea. But the Qur'an also makes a very unique statement not found in the Bible. Allah says that he will preserve his body and save it as a sign for future generations. The Qur'an describes the location where the Persians defeated the Romans as the lowest land. Not only have historians derived that the battle took place near the Dead Sea, scientists have confirmed that this location is in fact the lowest point of land on Earth, 417 meters below sea level. Huh. Oh. The Quran is full of stories of previous prophets. Not many people know that Moses, peace be upon him, is the most frequently mentioned name. The Qur'an also narrates many stories about Jesus Christ, peace be upon him. 
Mary, the mother of Jesus, is regarded as one of the best women to walk the face of the earth, and has a whole chapter to herself. Why these story signs? Because there is no way they were plagiarised. In that time, there was not a single library or translation of the Bible available. There are also many linguistic miracles in the Qur'an. Modern research shows that the Qur'an follows a remarkable structure called ring composition. Let's take chapter 2 of the Qur'an as an example. This chapter can be split into nine groups based on the theme of the group. The first group mirrors the last group, the second group mirrors the second to last group, and so on. What's more is that there are sub-rings inside each group, in other words, rings inside of rings. If we look at group 8, we find yet another ring inside of that ring. There are also countless other occurrences in the Qur'an, such as the word day, in its singular being mentioned 365 times, and the word month 12 times. The word life is mentioned the same number of times as death, angels the same number as devils, good deeds the same as bad deeds, and belief the same as disbelief. These are only just a few examples. Additionally, the Qur'an describes death, the day of judgement, heaven and hell in such vivid detail. In fact, you can hardly find a page in the Qur'an that doesn't mention the day of judgement. All of that whilst presenting a complete way of life for us to follow. In Islam, anything that causes harm is not allowed, and everything that is beneficial and good is encouraged. Why is there harm? Mm. Because yeah. life is a test. Allah says in the Quran, mm. he who creates Explain it more. Okay, like when you say anything that causes harm to the body, it's like haram. Whatever like you think about like um smoking, even though they say it's not cool, not like bad or good, but as long as it causes harm to you like health wise, it's haram. Alcohol, like you lost your senses, you don't know how to act and it's haram. Like you going out like talking about people because you're causing harm to people at the same time causing harm to yourself because when later they find out the more you lie the more you tie yourself up in the sense if you lie every day about different things the day they ask you about um the last time you said about this thing you hardly remember which mm. one you were talking about so it's like harmful to yourself it's bad stealing it's haram so like whatever bad you're thinking about as long as it causes harm to your body and your self-image, per se, it's prohibited. Not prohibited in Islam. Uh, it's prohibited. It's bad in Islam. But okay. like wherever you talk about something good, giving out charity, helping others, like giving out your time to like please humanity, spending time on your own to like reflect meditation, it's all allowed because it helps you to be a so, better person. So as a Muslim now, you can't, um, say for instance, now draw tattoo and stuff. Oh, no, no, no. It's haram. Like, you don't draw a tattoo in your body. Like, that's the way of the bad people. Created death and life to test which of you are best indeed. Islam develops your character. It teaches you how to carry yourself and how to be in control. Islam protects and empowers women. It eliminates racism, terrorism, and all oppression. A good Muslim is one who people feel safe around from their actions and words, one who people trust, and one who people look up to. A huge part of understanding why the Qur'an is a miracle is understanding how it was revealed. The Qur'an came down over 23 years in spoken form. It was not written down. Once verses came down, the Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, recited them, and his companions memorized them. Unlike any other book, the Qur'an did not go through an editing process. Once the verse was spoken, it was done. That was the final version. The verses were not revealed in order, starting from chapter 1, verse 1, 2, 3, and so on. The chapters and verses were revealed out of sequence. Furthermore, they could not be planned ahead of time. They were revealed as a result of life experiences that were out of the Prophet's control, such as enemies challenging him or the believers asking him life questions. To summarize, 
the Qur'an has been perfectly preserved and unchanged for 14 centuries, whilst excelling linguistically, scientifically, historically, and mathematically. It has a profound impact on those who listen to it, and is memorized and recited by hundreds of millions of people worldwide. It brings forth a complete way of life, and fills the hearts with peace and purpose. Humanity is yet to rise to its challenges, as Allah promised, and it's safe to say that no matter what angle you look at the Qur'an, it shows no weakness. Allah says, if you are in doubt, then produce even a chapter like it. Then he says, call upon your witnesses. In other words, go ahead, work in a team, gather all of humanity and try your best. He then seals the challenge by saying, if you do not, and you will never be able to. 1400 years have passed and no book or text or speech in any language comes close to competing with the quality, eloquence and perfection of the Qur'an. A lot of people think if they follow Islam, they're going to deprive themselves of things they would have otherwise enjoyed. Actually, the opposite is true. Allah tells us that if we live life by his book, burdens are lifted and life becomes so much better and easier. The freedom, peace and harmony found in the heart of a true Muslim cannot be described until it is experienced. Allah has given us countless signs. Will we continue turning our backs? I like, I like that part when he said like God challenged the people like if they can produce the like of it you know mm -hmm. like as I told you earlier like the Arabs are people that were eloquent you understand so the, when the prophet was like you know it's a written it's like a spoken word mm -hmm. like it's directly spoken to him through angel Gabriel so like when the message came that's how he said it it's not like he added his own words so yeah, yeah. So that's why when the Bible, like the other person say, like a person will come that who will see exactly as he was told. He gets that side yeah, the argument yeah, came. Yeah. So it's like that he was spoken to, and he said it the way he, the word came. He didn't add anything to it. So he gets. So like um when the Arabs when he was saying it, they were thinking like, oh, they were calling him he's a magician, he's a madman, and other things. You get. So like when he came, the teaching of the words were different. So like the Arabs were eloquent poets. They were good with poetry. So what like God challenged them in the Quran, like if you think you can produce something better than this, then you should be with your ally, your former team and all. Mm -hmm. And he said like, you will never be able to. So, and they were never able to like produce the like of the Quran. Mm -hmm. So you see, because the language is kind of different, the way it is, the way it always sounds, it sounds different and that's it. But and even sometimes, like when you read a chapter in the Quran, they have these three things that you talk about. Like the life experience is like, when did it come down? That particular chapter, that verse, why did it come down? You get aware, you get. So, wherever like the message was coming, it's mm -hmm. either a question from the believers or doubt from the disbelievers or a message God has to pass based on experiences that has happened at that point in time. Mm -hmm. It's not like he was saying it. Out of his own. Yeah, like saying, okay, I'm a leader, something happened. Okay, don't do it like this, you guys. No. Mm -hmm. The revelation comes to him to address everything that was happening and that will happen. You get. So that's how it is. So that's why when you read some chapters in the Quran, you just don't say, okay, they are saying this. No. It's happening for that reason. Like talking about the war and all that things, because some Christian I've met, they are saying the Quran talks about war. When you, there's a chapter, I think, if I could recall, it was saying, like, whenever you see them, fight them. You always stop there. Whenever I say, you see, your religion is talking about you, whenever you see people, fight them, you get. But it goes for that, saying, like, what? But if they change back, hold them as your brothers, mm -hmm. you get. Because, you know, they were oppressing the Muslims. So God later commanded him, like, the oppression was too much now. But, then, but just don't go and fight them like that, you Need a place like there are rules, ethics of war in Islam. Okay. You get. So if they change the surrender, you embrace them as a brother again. So you see, don't like every so time you're trying you to push. like fight or to defend yourself. Yeah, just defend yourself. Yeah, but if they stop, embrace them as your brother. 
Okay. But like a lot of people stop from on that path, like whenever you see them, fight them. Yeah, your religion is all about war, all about war. So even the terrorists will be like, yo, there's the same is compulsion, you should you should force them to change by force. You see, whenever you see them fight that you get. So it's all about like you understanding your religion and see how best you can practice it. So. Okay. That's nice. This Quran is a miracle, like it's actually very impressive. Like the things he mentioned, the preservation, people learning it and memorizing it. Uh, it's, it's, it's and, and some of the impressive. the historical things he talks about, like where the Persians defeated the Rome in that low yeah. land. Like when you check history, it's written there, it's there. Then even talking about this is the pharaohs, uh, the yeah, pharaoh, yeah, for your own like it's, what is yeah, preserved. Yeah, yeah, and, and I think they did a, a test on it. They later realized like so like he drowned, actually drowned. Is it then or what else? Talking about this thing, the sea, that two water that doesn't meet. Yeah. I think that one is around Hawaii or Arizona, America. I don't know, but it's around America. But just sometimes I reflect on it. I'll be like, yo. So they've talked about this. 1,200 years ago. Mm. Even like this thing, the, the plant gender. It was in the 20th century, you know, like a plant is a male and a female. It's been mentioned in the Quran 1,400 years ago about it. Because they didn't find out about it. And even people arguing like the universe is flat or round. Yeah, I think the Quran is mentioned like it's round, the Big Bang. God said like they were together, he stretched them asunder. So like splitted them, the Big Bang. So, hmm. those are some of the miracles of the whole app. It's a powerful book, though. You should check it out sometime. Right? Guys, comment down below what you think about this video. Give us a thumbs up. Share this video as many as you can. Subscribe to the channel, guys. Um, you know how to do it. See you guys in the next video. Make sure you stay. See. I just bought a bag like an old lady. I'm back, wood smoking. I don't own papers. Pass that 808. That don't, don't shake her Oh, bitch, you know I'm grinding like a pro skater Baby, mama bugging, I'm so quick to hit ignore Buku, bitch, you in my bed I got scales all